What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Dr. Rhonda M. Lawson, and it is Monday. Yay! And it's time for a new episode of Horizons Author Lounge. And I'm very excited because, you know, we had a great June. If you guys were rocking with us during the month of June, you saw that we um, highlighted all male authors and we really touched and drilled down on men's mental health. And now we are into minority mental health month. And I'm really excited because our next guest um, has, re she really touches on this. She's an expert on it. And um, it's, it's her passion. It's so much of her passion that she has a magazine. She has a podcast. She has a journal. And a lot of it has to do with mental health. So I'm just going to bring her on without any further ado. So everybody, please help me welcome Miss Jamie Rockmore Best. Hello. Hey. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. I'm so well, excited. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. Absolutely. All right. So um, before we just jump right in there, um, tell can you tell us a bit about yourself? Yes. Yeah, so um hmm, it's all it's always trying to figure out where I start, you know. But um, well, I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I relocated to Maryland in 2009 after I got my undergrad degree in psychology. And then I started working um, for a psychiatric hospital. And it's so interesting because, you know, when you graduate, you're ready to put, you know, everything to work. You roll your sleeves yeah. up. You come on the first date with your lunch bag. You all happy and chipper. And, you know, I just realized like, oh, no, this is deep. You know, like the, the case studies that I've read in, in books is a lot different than what I see in person. And so I had the opportunity to work with um, the kid kiddos. So like from like three to 12 that were, you know, admitted to the psych hospital. And so I gained a lot of experience. I mean, a lot and seeing so many different, you know, traumas, hearing about things. I mean, one time a kid asked if, if they can come home with me because they hated their house. And I'm just like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, and um, so I did that for a while. And then I got promoted to a role called dis a discharge coordinator. And so in mm -hmm. that role consisted of me creating, not creating, but scheduling um, aftercare for individuals. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell us about your magazine. Absolutely. So. You know, one of the things when I started working at the hospital, I, I noticed that gap. Um, oftentimes people would come into the facility and they'll be like, look, Jamie, I ain't crazy. And I'm just like, well, what does that mean? I ain't like them. And I'm like, you don't know their story. <laughs> like, you don't even know them. You don't know what they went through for you to be saying, like, I'm not them. I'm not crazy. I'm like, look, we're all one tragedy away. Right. Mm -hmm. And being, going to a mental health facility doesn't mean it, it's not a bad thing. And I, I it, it breaks my heart that, you know, uh, media depicted that way, you know, just kind of growing up. And so um, when I noticed that, I, I noticed that there was just a lack of education, right? And so I was like, all right, how can I connect the clinician to the clients? You know, and because I've done therapy and it worked wonders for me, you know? And mm -hmm. so that's where I started with, creating a magazine and I wanted it to be um, something that like can sit in a household and everybody can read it. Um, where can we find your magazine? I know, um, I believe you said that there are print, there's a print version of the magazine and there's also a virtual um, version of the magazine. So how can somebody find it? Sure. So we, um, we do, yeah, we do both. And I noticed that I, I do more with the, physical copies because I guess people just kind of like the feel we're like in this weird space like we <laughs> we like the digital you know but then there's still the people that like the print it feels real like, when you're holding it <laughs> yeah when you can like feel the pages flip over it you know flip the pages and stuff and so um and then it also helps with being off the screen you know mm -hmm. what I mean but um yeah so you can go to helpfullivingmag.com um to purchase the magazine um Every issue is on there from we're now um, in the current issue that's out is issue 18. So okay. I um, launched a magazine quarterly. Um, it's when is it, Lord? It's um, February, May, 
November, February, May, August, and November. Yes. And um, um, in addition to the magazine, I also have a subscription service. So for those who would who want to subscribe and just get the magazine, I send it out. Um, once we are done with publication, I, I go ahead and send it out to them. And they typically will have their magazine like at the beginning of that month that is launched. And then for digital, they'll get it the first of that month that that is launched. And so it's really exciting and it's cool. So definitely helpfullivingmag.com is where people can purchase it. OK, now we do have a number of authors who um, watch this show. And they're probably wondering, are they able to submit their own articles for your magazine? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I feel like even when you're writing, you know, there's there's something with that. And it, it doesn't really matter what what type of writer. Um, but I know oftentimes people kind of write, what is it, memoirs? Mm -hmm. um, and it's like because they're like reliving that moment. You know, sometimes it's hard to kind of write, you know, the page. Now, do you have, um, I hope you have a print copy of the magazine near you. Actually, I do. That's so funny you say that because I typically don't. <laughs> I do. This is actually the uh, latest edition. There we go. Mm -hmm. The latest edition. And this is like the inside. It's a pretty thick magazine. Oh, it is. It's usually about um, between 50 to 60 pages. Okay. Yeah, between 50 to 60 pages. And this is the inside. Very nice. This is one of the uh, wellness activities. Do you have a team? Do you feel, or do you do all this yourself? Because that seems like No, a I have um, a gentleman that helps curate it. Ah, I okay. Also, I have a gentleman that helps curate it, in, um, which is really helpful because I, I like, I, I'm not that artsy. Like I couldn't do a flyer <laughs> or something like that, but to, to put it together. And that was one of the things that I was like, how am I going to put this together? How am I going to figure this out? You know, cause I always tell people, I don't have a best friend that worked at Essence or Jet, <laughs> you know, or at Ebony. I don't know nobody over there. So, I, know they, I think people think cause we live in a DMV, we, we can just walk over to TV one or BET. Exactly. And say, hey, exactly. my <laughs> Um, so um, now Helpful Living is going to be um, released again after the August one. You have the September edition coming up, I believe. The November. November issue coming mm -hmm. up. Um, mm -hmm. Is there still room for somebody who might want to submit or who maybe wants to be featured? And mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're opening up submissions for the November issue. Um, if anybody is interested and want to uh, reach out or submit a pitch, um, definitely do so. The deadline for the November issue is September 3rd. That's the, it's usually the first Tuesday of the month. Okay. Um, and, and yeah, and you can reach out. Um, and even if you have like an idea, like, Hey, Jamie, this is what I was thinking. This, 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 and this, it doesn't have to be the whole thing. Um, oh. the actual article, they can just kind of throw out their ideas and then we'll chat and typically um, articles are no more than 800 words. I kind of give room for a little more, but I found 800 words to be a sweet spot um, for the articles. And right. Then we ask not for, too long, not too short. Yeah, not too long. And then like the pictures kind of help complement the article as well. So we'll have pictures um, that coincides with the article along with um, just a, a bio of the of the individual, depending on the article. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody, make sure that you are looking for Helpful Living Magazine. Um, the website is on the screen right now, helpfullivingmag.com. <laughs> and um, this is a magazine that's totally dedicated to mental health. Um, so um, I love the fact that you don't just have articles in there, but you also have activities in there. So mm -hmm. this is a magazine that people will pick up. They're not just going to flip through and say, oh, okay, that was nice and put it down. Right. They're yeah. actually going to be flipping through it. They're, um, they're going to be doing um, activities, maybe learning a little bit, sharing a little bit, and maybe um, thinking about some things. Yeah. And, and I feel like when with the magazine, um, those little like two minute activities, it kind of opens the door for that self-care time. Like, oh, if I could do this, then I can do more. So.